Hello again, everyone. This is the Black Knight with another important announcement. There are now 401 subscribers on the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing, and let's play. Let's put the big 401 up. Now, I know what you're saying. Black Knight, we just did a video for 400 subscribers. Why are you doing one for 401? Is every new subscriber going to get his or her own video? No, 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 that's not really the plan. It's just that 401 is the number that has, Enemy well, ships will be at the mission waypoint. Refer to the nav map for specific instructions. Thank you for interrupting. But 401 has special significance to me. There's a story to it. Now, this will just hopefully liven up the thing until we get to the mission where we blow up the, the nomads. But back when I was in college, taking, let's see, what class was it? I want to say... Oh, solid-state materials. That's what it was, solid-state materials. We had a take-home test. And it was a take-home test that you could work with as many friends as you wanted on, as long as you put all their names on the test. Now, for you younger kids at home, you're thinking to yourself, Oh my god, that would be awesome! And anyone who's ever done one of these goes, oh, wow, yeah, that was what, with, with the five of us, I think uh, we put something, was it five of us? I think there was five of us on the test. I'd have to actually work out the names. I could do that, but we're not going to do that here, because we're almost to the, the mission. We ended up putting in something like, I don't know, almost four, I think it was 37 hours on the test, in addition to taking classes and doing everything else and like, for like a week. We were the only ones who had anything when the time came. Uh, to actually hand something in. And who? here we are. Now this should be quick, because these are nomads. And I've got a torpedo launcher. Hostile ships in range. We've marked them to make them easier to spot. Some of those should land. No my guns! Oh, what we got here? Fewer! There's fewer. We're gonna have to gun some of them. The nomads, they're, they're kinda tough. You know, it's, they are the toughest thing in the game to, to fight. In theory, especially in numbers. Especially in large numbers. Yeah, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a. We should do an engine kill kick here. And give ourselves some distance. We're getting, we're getting beat up. This is a trick if you're getting beat up. That guy's going exceptionally fast. Let's try to get the. This is the mission commission. You are violating our agreement. Finish your assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've got lots of time to to pick these guys off. We read you as back in range of the waypoint. Do not deviate. Just evening up the... Oh, oh dear. Now that's a problem. I have to take out the groups of them that I hoped it would. This is going to be a tough slog. We'll get back to my story in a minute. And I'm really rusty, so I mean, it's definitely... We are freaking surrounded. This might not end well. We need to get some distance here and torpedo these guys. There are lots of them. Yeah, the guy's gonna complain a minute, but Let's see how that works. Let's go tangent to them and then kick that way. Why am I losing my engine kick? Come on, let's do this. Engine kill kick to the side. We got two of them. Area as 
All right, that took, a, took a lot of torpedoes, but I'm tired of so rusty. I used to be able, I would have been able to gun all those guys once upon a time. We'll get there. We're gonna get back there. We're coming back. Love this game. Anyway, so anyway, during this test, during one of the long nights where they let us work in the classrooms till, oh, I don't know, midnight. Before they, I think it was 11 o'clock actually when they closed the uh, when they closed the school up. For oh, that year, they, once you're seniors, they let things go a little bit. We were there all night long, but at any rate, we had one problem that involved. I think, I think it was like nine variables, you know, basically nine unknowns, nine equations. And so, you, you know, you, you can use, as long as you have the same number of equations as you have variables, you can solve everything out. But it's, it's a complete nightmare. And uh, at one point, during the bleariness of the night, I, I solved for one of the variables. Got it finally isolated off to itself. And then came up with the brilliant idea of plugging this back into one of the other equations to solve for something else. Now, that may sound like a reasonable thing, but, you know, all you mathy guys out there are laughing already. Uh, and I made enough math errors. This is, like, I think, what, sophomore year? I think it was sophomore year. I made enough math errors, one or two math errors, so that this looked like it was a useful thing. But my, uh, my compadres, my friendly fellow classmates, checked the math. And, uh, oh, look, you forgot to do this. Okay, well, what happens when you do that? When you solve for one thing and plug it back in, all of the variables cancel out. So what you're left with is a constant equal to a constant. And in my case, it, I had proven conclusively that 401 equals 401. And so that 401 was my nickname for about a year. Yeah, that was... Uh, Dog. Hasn't been referenced in a long time on a personal basis. Please proceed to dock two. Simply because I earned better nicknames as things went on. But I mean, you know, that that they held on to that for a little while. And so whenever I see the number four hundred one, like four hundred one subscribers, it always takes me a little bit back to, well, really kind of a rough week. When I think about it. But still, you know, good times, good times. You remember the time we did all that and blah blah blah, and you did this and everything and. The whole test thing was really funny, as I, as I recall, uh, because the, 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 the teacher gave an extension to everybody else, because we were already done, I walked out of the room laughing, and everybody else kind of went, took him in the room and, and, and freaked out on him, and demanded additional, uh, additional points be given to us because we were to awesomeness. So, uh, he was a cool teacher. We liked him quite a bit. Still do. I think he's still there. I'm not sure. It's been, you know, a couple of decades since I've been there. I've, I've run into the guys on occasion. I haven't talked to him in a while. I'll have to stop down one of these Fridays and see what's going on. But at any rate, here we are. We're back in. We can. We're repaired. We don't think we usually get anything from, uh,. No, I don't really get much of the inventory that way. But if you look here at your... If you, we should have gotten... Nomad energy weapons. Yay. And by the way, they're usually pretty worthless in-game for some strange reason. Yeah, they're like... Hardly any money attached to them. So the best thing to do is save them for future... Uh, future ships, which we can do. I see that? Might as well, I will show you some little trick here. Especially since I'm primarily alone. Well, we'll, sit, we'll zip over there. Dudes. Got Russian stuff going on, hanging out in New York. Hey, that's speak of my language. Let's see, let's get the other ship ready here. Selecting a character. Where's my other Alaskan? There it is. It's another eagle. And this one should be... Yeah, loaded with energy weapons here. We'll just... So you can see that this technique works. But you'll actually watch it work soon. And watch this. And yes, I'm extremely fond of the eagle, and I'm extremely fond of having it with a trim tail. That's a base tradition for those of you who 
may or may be due to the challenge or due to base. Okay, so you go to your ship that has the stuff you want to transfer. Yeah, dump the stuff in the space. Now, if you switch ships before your shield comes back, you lose everything. So you have to give yourself a couple extra seconds. Just make sure everything kind of loads into the universe. Then you quickly select the other character. And beam them in. Just that simple. Now the guns are safely in a ship that never really leaves the area of this dock. base. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock two. And should I buy another ship, all I have to do is fly it up here, do the same transfer, mount the guns. We're good. And that, of course, works if, you know, let's say I was actually, I don't know, get base moving again and start recruiting people. Not sure I'm ready to do that just yet. I think before I, I let base back up on this server, I'd probably need to get a couple of the, the original Vanguard to go along with me just to be on the safe side. May 26, 20, I think I have that one. New mod available. Yeah, I think I have the May 26. I have to look at that. Hmm. I wonder what the newest and the latest and greatest is. We'll take a look at that. Maybe we'll uh, we'll put a, a few updates here if there's something new and and, and wonderful. If we uh, we'll do a little text editing after we look at that. We'll, we'll see those appear in game. Now we'll give ourselves some room to appear and things to appear in game. We need to record some more stuff, which means let's go to New York. Ah, I've got my hustler here. Do I even have this thing armed up? Not really. Got a couple of justices on it. The hustler is a neat thing, and this one's not armed up properly, but I can't really show it off. But I can fly around with it. The Hustler, you know, this looks like basically a standard Liberty fighter. Yeah, I want to go to Texas. But, it does have a very interesting weapon for that. First of all, it's got more armor than pretty much any other fighter. I think there might be some fighters with heavier stuff, but that's got a lot of armor. It's got three very weak guns. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's go here. But, let's read the description. The Hustler is the most devastating ship of its type against the increasingly numerous heavily armed capital ships patrolling various space. Able to get in close and deliver a significant punch against even the biggest warships, this ship is a vital component of the naval fleet. And you might say, well, why? What's the big deal? You know, it's not this, it's not that. Optimal Life Plus 5, Max. But here's the deal. You get, it's got a mine, countermeasure, and f torp times five. That's right, it's got five torpedo locations. I've never tried to mounting disruptors. That might be an interesting thing to do, too. Can you set up a five disruptor just to mess with people? There's not really a need for that. Because one disruptor does as much of anything as, you know. So there's no real point to that, but, you know, if you can mount five torpedoes on it, especially if you're using the Sun Slayer's torpedoes, which you can only get in a couple places. We'll do a video on that. I think I think the next video, maybe we'll have to, the next freelancer video we do, we'll have to get this one up to speed. But you fire five torpedoes at something. It's gonna take a lot of damage, and in this uh, in this game, the mod does allow for players to have capital ships if they have you know an active clan in service, and you know, and you have millions upon millions of dollars. That's another. Thing. Oh, this guy's hanging out. 
Usually, the, the hangout, the classic hangout spot, was Newark Station, which is where I'm gonna go. We're gonna float this puppy over Newark for a little bit. Spent many hours hanging out at Newark Station, living in Plant Manhattan. It's kind of a nice way to do it. It's, you can just pop up here. This is a place, this is like pretty much the equivalent of hanging out at the, the local, you know, parking your car at the local gas station or ice cream place and watching the world go by, sit out here, jaw, talk about things, chew the proverbial fat. Now it's like 8, what the heck time is it, 8.30, 9 o'clock, 20 to 9 on a Friday morning. Not gonna what, bump the button. Not gonna be a lot going on here today, so. So, I wonder where this guy is. He's doing something. He's doing missions out of New York. I don't know. 34 is pretty high rank. But that's pretty much all the time I have for, for today. And on this note, I think what we'll have to say, we have to, I think the next video we'll do, maybe we'll, we'll up-arm this, this hustler. We'll see if we can get this one rolling. But in summary, thank you so much for 401 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm very happy about it. And uh, we won't be doing 402 and 403 and 404, but uh, we will be doing more videos. So I'll talk to you soon. And this is the Black Knight in the environment where I became the Black Knight really and truly to many multiple peoples. That's another story for another time. I've probably already told it. But this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.